In this video, I'm going to show you the menu widget um, and how you can get that working uh, within your headers. Now, the menu widget is typically used for lo-fi prototypes because it's limited in its styling. I'll show you another video where you can create more custom menus, but this might be useful for some of you. Okay, so um, if I want to add a menu, uh, typically I'd want to add it into my header. Um, you can skip this step if you don't want to, but I've got a dynamic panel within a master here. So I can edit my master by double clicking on that. And then I can edit the dynamic panel by double clicking again. And that takes us to state one up here. So I want to drag over um, a menu widget. So if I go to my libraries, and I scroll down, so typically we're up in the common area, you scroll down until you get to menus and table, and then you have the choice between a classic menu horizontal, which goes across the page, or classic menu vertical, which goes um, down the side of the page. And the blue shape here shows where drop down menus would typically go. So I'm going to drag this over here. Um, I'll drag it to the right if you've got the whole thing selected. So this is the tricky thing with the menu widget. If you just click on it, it will only select one menu item. To select the entire menu, you have to click just slightly outside on this gray line and make sure all three of them are selected there and that will allow you to resize them and do other styling. Uh, okay, I need to change the names, double click and you can type there. So I'm only just going to put three of my main pages in here for demonstration purposes. Okay, now if I close out of this and we preview this, everything's fine. It's working okay. No rollovers yet, but I haven't put those in. Now, this is one of the tricky things though. If you're going to use a menu widget within a dynamic panel, so I'm going to double click now, how about we add a drop-down menu? To add a drop-down menu, you select the parent menu item where you want it to drop down from. So here it's beach. If we have a look at my sitemap here, beach, foreshore, wildlife, so I want to right click, add submenu, double click to add the words. So one of them was for sure, the other one was wildlife. And I can delete this last one by selecting it, right click, delete menu item. Now you'll notice that my menu up here has a white background here. However, it's gray. Um, I can demonstrate why that is if I close out of here. Um, see how there is no drop-down menu appearing. If I preview, uh, there is no drop-down menu. Why is that? Because the dynamic panel sort of acts as a mask, if you like. If the dynamic panel isn't big enough to show the drop-down, the drop-down is not going to be visible. So if I extend that, here I'm in the header master. This is my dynamic panel and I've just made it a bit taller. Now if I double click on that, you can see, yes, our drop down menu is working, so that's fine. Now this can create a few problems with um, being able to access things behind the dynamic panel. Um, experiment, see if you can get it working. Um, if you're having a lot of problems, then I would recommend doing a custom menu instead. Okay, so this shows you how to add it and how to ensure you've got your drop down menu, even if you're using a dynamic panel. In the next video, I'll show you how you can add different colors and rollover effects to your menu widget. Thank you.